Porn and dopamine. What is the connection? And how can you get dopamine from the world instead of the screen? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. In this video, we are going to talk about number one, what is dopamine? Number two, how does pornography consumption impact how dopamine flows in your system? And number three is instead of getting dopamine from the screen, how can you get it from your world? Okay, let's dig in. Dopamine, number one, is a primary neurotransmitter in your brain, and it is the neurotransmitter that is linked to motivation, learning, and pleasure. So what that means is how you use your brain and where you take it in terms of substances and behaviors, that can impact how your brain links pleasure, learning, and motivation to do things to your brain performance pattern. Now let me break that down for you. What I mean by that is when you do something, it produces dopamine when you get pleasure. The more pleasurable the activity or the substance, the more dopamine gets flowing in your system. And in doing so, it teaches your brain it motivates your brain to go back to get more pleasure from the place that it's been taught to do so. You're basically training your brain. So clearly, if you're training your brain to go into your life and into your healthy habits, like a job that you love and work that brings you purpose, people that you love to be with and you like to hang out with them and it feels good, and hobbies that you love to do skydiving, paddle boarding, playing pool with your buddies. If you get pleasure from that, you are linking your brain to the world and to the pleasure that you are seeking and that you're getting in the world because dopamine is flowing in your system at healthy levels. Now, when we cut to what pornography does to dopamine production in your system, Porn is a super normal stimulus, and what that means is that it's shown to produce more dopamine in your system that could possibly be produced in a natural, healthy way in nature. It's super normal, super natural. So it saturates your system with a flood of dopamine when you consume porn, what I call the dopamine deluge, the flood of dopamine in your system. Unfortunately, what that does is it produces a dopamine deficit when you're not in the screen. So now when you go into your life, there couldn't possibly be enough dopamine there to bring you pleasure anymore. Your brain is taught and motivated toward the screen for pleasure. Now, dopamine at those very high levels becomes pleasure seeking. Your brain is taught, motivated to keep going back for higher and higher levels of dopamine. And of course, porn capitalizes on that in terms of the way that it's set up. It pulls you back into the screen while the dopamine deficit that you've inadvertently created in your life pushes you into the screen simultaneously. So, Dopamine is that neurotransmitter of learning, motivation, and pleasure. Porn is a super normal stimulus that produces lots and lots of dopamine in your system, and it hijacks your brain to go back into the screen instead of into your life. In 2011, the Academy of Addiction Sciences and Medicine added behaviors to their definition of addiction. And there's many research studies, there's one by Love et al. that is out that shows that pornography and internet addiction is becoming one of the rising behavioral addictions that are out there. And basically what is said about behavioral addictions is that the reward circuitry in the brain is dis functional because of the way that dopamine is motivating and has taught your brain to go back to that behavior for those high levels of, of pleasure, which then builds tolerance so you need more and more, and it creates withdrawal so that if you don't get it, you don't feel good in your world, hence the dopamine deficit. So let's move on to number three. What's the solution to this? 
The solution is, just like a puppy, you have to retrain your brain to get back into the real world, back into your awesome life, to find dopamine there instead of in the screen. It's artificially high levels of dopamine. I see it all the time on people's brain graphs when they use the Muse headband. My team and I, we offer brain check-ins. We can show you what your brain is doing. Just yesterday, I was looking at someone's brain that was 85% calm all the time, except for it's because they go into the screen every single day to numb out their brain. So those feelings of calm are actually numbness. It's artificial. That's what all the dopamine does to your brain. So we have to retrain your brain to stay out of those high levels and begin to motivate itself and to teach itself to get back into the world for the activities that you love. So here's your brain hack for today. Get your journal out and write down all the things that you used to love to do. You used to love to do it a few years ago, or especially the things that you used to love to do when you were young. Cooking is a great activity. I know some people will mock me because they always do, but cooking is an executive function activity that resensitizes the reward center in your brain and it brings that frontal lobe back online in terms of functioning. And food is highly dopamine producing. So if you have any inkling on enjoying cooking, do more of that. That's a really great activity. Your hobbies, list them. Schedule one of them for this week. Don't ignore it. Your brain and life depends on it. Get going. Also, Bake some cookies. The smell of cookies can be highly dopamine producing. Chocolate is highly dopamine producing. Let me tell you what's highly dopamine producing. Kittens. We just adopted a kitten from the shelter. You want to get yourself a dopamine overload. I know everybody says they hate kittens, except for everybody thinks kittens are cute. We went to the shelter and there's so many animals there. Pets and animals are dopamine producing. Go check out the shelter. They're always looking for people to visit and you can play with an animal for a few if you don't wanna get one and your brain will thank you. So get into the world. Find something about your work that you love to do and do it this week. Schedule it in. Find people that bring you joy and laughter. Laughter is highly dopamine producing. Find somebody that you can laugh with. It is a tragedy how people don't laugh half as much as they should. Uh, in my home, which is filled with teenagers and my nut job of a husband, we laugh all the time and it is insanely good for you. Find somebody that you can laugh with and laugh. Go do it, schedule it in this week. And then lastly, do your hobbies. Get some fun going in your world because you're retraining your brain and you're creating functional, regulated neural circuits that chase down the reward of dopamine in the world and will no longer need to go in the screen. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And if you're looking for help on the journey, please reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. I'd love to help you. And until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.